Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about first aid kits. Now a lot of people carry on their trailer just a few things, but for me, the majority of my clients that I travel with, we're taking two to three horses and we're gone upwards of a week. So I like to pack a little of everything because you just never know what someone's horse is going to get into and what they're going to need. Now my kit is a bit large, but again, it's for multiple horses in multiple days. But I'm going to go through it, which it's mostly full, but I have a few things left to repack into it for my next trip. Now, when you get your list for what goes in your kit, you may wonder what to put inside. The best person to ask is your vet. Your vet often has a list already saved to give their clients. And oftentimes, you can find things online as well. A lot of the things you're going to need can come from horse stores. They can come from traditional stores like a Walmart or any other kind of large store. And some things will need to come from your vet or an agricultural source. I start with a giant tub because you never know what you need to put in it. Um, you never know if you need to take something with you or if you need to take something back that won't fit in anything else. Also, I put everything that I can in individual tubs as well so that everything stays neat, clean, and dry. Now, the biggest tip I can give you is whatever you do, do not store your first aid kit in your trailer. A lot of people tend to do this, and this is not a smart idea because when you go to do this, you're forgetting that your trailer in the summer gets incredibly hot. It also can get wet and it can get cold, and there are several things that can be damaged. First and foremost that can be damaged are medications. A lot of medications have on the bottles, they will tell you do not store above or below a certain amount. And it's important you follow that or else the medication doesn't work and you cannot help your horse. Another thing that can go bad is your thermometer. I have to replace my thermometers annually for good keeping because I have been the embarrassing client that called my vet and my horse had an exceedingly low temperature where it shouldn't have been alive because my thermometer was not any good anymore. Another thing that can go bad in the heat that you may not think about is gloves. Gloves that are latex or nitrile based will decompose in heat and time. So there's a lot of things you want to replace either annually or semi-annually. Now, when you go through your things in here, one of the biggest areas that I use is my wound care tub. And that is this one right here. My wound care tub includes a lot of different things. We have everything from gauze that is either non-sterile here to gauze that is sterile, which I have packaged down here. I package everything by item in a Ziploc so we don't have things falling out. I have a full set of diapers and Epsom salt and duct tape in here so that people can do emergency hoof bandaging. I have vet wrap in here. I also have a couple of cool things I've picked up over time, including clotting gauzes. Uh, this is a surgical betadine scrub, which is a little brush with a scrubby so I can disinfect myself and a horse and it doesn't leak anywhere, which is magical. Rolled gauze, gloves, and any assortment of sizes of your basic sterile equipment. I use my non-sterile to get things like debris off and then my sterile for wound wrapping. What you don't see that will go back in here will be a little more vet wrap as well as a standing bandage, a roll of cotton gauze, and a pillow quilt. The other big tub of importance is the meds tub and I have this one marked in black so I can tell people go get the black tub. When you open this up, this is everything that could spill or be prescription or liquid. In here, I like to keep a lot of different things. I keep some salves in here for wounds. I have a variety that I've picked up. Some of these were even free samples at events. Um, another thing I keep in here is an eye flush. I keep a liniment and other, like this is a prescription from my vet that I use. Uh, prescription meds you can keep on board, which are never bad to have, include banamine. Uh, fluoxin megalamine, which is banamine. You can get this in a paste or an injectable, whatever you're comfortable with. I have dexamethasone. I also keep a small bit of ACE in here in case of an emergency. Now do remember, if you're having to break into your kit and you're having to use drugs, number one, you probably are not going to be showing today or tomorrow. But number two, if you're at a licensed event, you have withdrawal times on meds and you need to be very aware 
that if you gave your horse banamine, you are probably not showing this weekend because it will come up in a drug test and you don't want to risk that issue. Another thing I keep in here is Butte. Um, this is fennel butazone and I use a powder and I bought these fantastic bags from my local drugstore. They are just a little pill reminder bag and you'll see they say on them uh, pill pouch and all I've done is label them with what it is in a scoop. I don't want to carry a five pound tub of butte with me to a horse show when someone could also need it at home or I could spill it everywhere which I'm really good at doing. So I keep all that stuff in here. Um, these two over here are my needles and syringes. A lot of these I've gotten from the agriculture store or my vet. I have a variety of sizes. Some of them already have needles on them. Some of them do not. Uh, that's why I also carry another box that says needles. And my needle box is full of a variety, again, of gauges of needles. Um, and I keep my big syringe in there because it fit better. Um, and like I said, these are all different sizes of needles I keep on hand. Um, number one tip, do not inject your horse if you're not comfortable with it. Uh, my vet has trained me and feels I'm comfortable and I'm comfortable. So I'm okay getting an injection. But if you're not, don't do it. My final tub is the other stuff tub, I guess is a good way to put it. A lot of my basic go-to stuff. And in here, as you'll see, it's labeled on the top. We have a thermometer. This is a brand new thermometer. Flashlight, Sharpie oral syringe. I keep salt in those same little pill pouches and electrolytes as well. Um, other things you can keep in here include scissors, towels, pens, and flashlights that are always helpful. So I hope today's short video gives you an idea of what goes in my first aid kit so you can be prepared to go down the road safely with your horse.